Ready to upgrade your hard drive in your PlayStation 3 system? You've come to the right video because I'm going to show you everything that you need to do to swap out your hard drive and even back up your save data from your original hard drive on your PlayStation 3. And it all starts right now. Hey there, if it's your first time here, my name's Blaine, and my channel's all about helping you get the most out of your video game experiences. So if you like original content about restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other great video game content, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out. Let's go. If you need a hard drive or tools from this project, I've linked them down below for you in the description. I'm using an original CECHE PlayStation 3 FAT model to do this demonstration. It's the 80 gigabyte model. It's the awesome one that has the four ports and PS2 backwards compatibility. But I'm also going to show you how to do this on the slim and super slim models as well. Let's take a look at what's actually in here right now to get started with. Go to system information. This got 4.86, which is the most recent version of the firmware, and you'll need this in order to do this tutorial. So if you haven't yet, make sure you're using version 4.86 firmware. And you can take a look right here and see that it's got 64 of the 74 gigabytes free. I'll also show you how to do a backup of your data when you replace your hard drive. First, let's back up that data. You'll need a USB drive that's formatted in FAT32 format. I'm using a 128 gigabyte drive completely formatted in FAT32. From system settings, scroll up to the backup utility and press the X button. It'll ask you what you want to do. First, you want to back up, obviously, so press X. If you want to back up your trophies, you'll need to do that through PlayStation Online. Make sure that you're signed into your PlayStation account. To continue, Slide over to the left and press X on Yes. Now it's going to ask if you want to back up your data to external storage. Of course you do because you want to put it on a USB stick. Slide over to Yes with the D-pad and press X to continue. From here, it'll tell you to go ahead and insert your external storage media. Put the USB stick into a free port on the front of your system. Here it's recognized the USB, the cruiser snap that I put into the front port. Press X to continue. It's going to start preparing the process of backing up your system and it'll back it up. I've only got one game backed up on here because when I got this system it was actually formatted. So it only has some backup data from Madden 25 which my son played on it. So I'm going to accelerate through the process of doing the backup. It only took two minutes but it could take quite some time if you have an extensive library of content on your PS3. This backup's done, so remove the USB drive from the front and power off the PS3. There's a hard drive to put in. Here's that fat PS3 that's getting the hard drive upgrade. It's going to go from 80 gigs to 1 terabyte. But I'll show you along the way how to get the hard drive out of a slim or super slim as well. The easiest way to get this cover off is just to reach your thumbnail over to the right, the side that faces the front, and just pry and then slide it just over to the right and out then just set this off to the side for safety. To get the drive out, there's a blue screw and you need a number one size screwdriver to get it out. Just take the screw out with a screwdriver and set it off to the side. To get the hard drive out of the PlayStation 3, slide it to the right just like you did the front cover. And then there's a tab on the front that you can pull and get the hard drive straight out of the unit. The hard drive is screwed into its retaining cage with four number one screws. Just take them out with a number one screwdriver and set them off to the side for safekeeping. These screws are kind of small, so you might want to consider keeping them in a magnetic tray or a small plastic parts tray. Pay attention to the orientation of the hard drive as it sits in this chassis, because you're going to need to put the new hard drive in in exactly the same orientation for it to fit properly in the PS3. Here's the new hard drive. It makes sense to go ahead and line it up exactly the way you took the old hard drive out, just to make sure you put everything in the right way. And before you put anything into this chassis, give it a good cleaning because it's been in there a long time and it's certain to be dirty. Now that the chassis is cleaned up, you can put the new hard drive in place. Remember, just slide it in and put it in exactly the way that you took the old drive out. Then just put the four screws back in place. I found it easiest to actually start them in by hand. Starting them in on the tip of the screwdriver 
made it kind of difficult to balance them, and also putting them in by hand to start them stops the possibility of cross-threading them. Once you have the four chassis screws back in place, you can put the hard drive back in your PS3. So it goes in in exactly the opposite order it came out. Push it down and slide it to the left this time to seat it into the SATA adapter on the PS3 motherboard. Then put the blue screw back in place to hold the drive so it doesn't slip around or come unseated from the SATA adapter. Then secure that cover in place by sliding it gently to the left and snapping it down. Before we restore the content onto this drive, let me show you how to replace the drive on a slim or super slim model. Like your PS3 consoles with a little less cushioning on them? Here's how you put a hard drive in the slim model. First, flip the unit over, and you'll see that there's a small access door on the bottom right here. That's where the blue screw is that you need to take out to be able to slide out the hard drive. So just take this door and turn it to the side. Then use a number one size screwdriver to take the blue screw out. Set it off to the side for safekeeping. And then flip the unit so that you have access to the front door. From here, there's a front panel that needs to slide over toward the right side, the outside of the console. Set it to the side for safekeeping. And then grab hold of the front of the metal chassis and pull it straight up and out. Then installation is just simply the reverse process. Prefer your PlayStation 3 to have no mechanical optical drive? The super slim model can have a hard drive in it too. All you have to do is put it over on its side just like this, slide this door over and lift it straight up and out. Blue screw. Just put a number one screwdriver in there to take out the blue screw. There's a lever here to pull and the hard drive will lift straight up and out of the console. And installing the new drive is just the reverse process of removal. Don't forget, these hard drives still have the retaining screws to hold the hard drives into the chassis for both the slim and the super slim model. Once you've got your hard drive installed into your PlayStation 3, go ahead and plug it back in, plug in your video cable, plug in your controller. You'll need it plugged in with a USB cable to get the ball rolling on this. And you'll need to format your hard drive. Let me show you how that's done. Once you power back on your PlayStation 3, you'll get the usual boot up screen, but then after that, things will be a little bit different. It's going to tell you that you need to format the new storage device that you've installed. So press over to the side with the D-pad to yes, and press the X button. You'll get a warning that all data will be formatted and erased from the drive. Tell it yes and move forward. The formatting process can take up to several minutes depending upon the size of your drive. But in this case, it only took a few seconds to format. Once it's done, you'll have to restart your console, so press X for Enter to restart. When the console reboots, you'll see the splash screen like normal, except for this time it won't ask you about formatting. This time it'll go right back to the XMB, or the PlayStation 3 main menu. And that'll let you know you've done things correctly, your hard drive's formatted, and you're ready to do your backup. Before you do the backup though, let's just double check and make sure the drive has been read correctly and that all of its storage capacity is being used. Go to settings, then scroll down to system settings and press X, then scroll all the way down to the bottom and up one to get to system information, then press X. You'll see here, instead of the original 74 gigabytes, now it's got 931 gigabytes, so it's using that full one terabyte hard drive to its potential. Awesome! Let's back out, press circle to go back, and let's do the backup to restore your files and game settings back to your PS3. Scroll up several times on the D-pad until you get to Backup Utility. Press the X button to continue. This time scroll down and pick Restore. It'll say do you want to restore? Of course you do. Slide over to the left, press X to continue. The system will ask for your storage media, so put the USB stick back into the USB port on the front of your PS3. Here it's recognized the cruiser snap again, so press X to continue. It'll show you the list of backups that you have, and they're actually formatted as year, month, date, and time that you created the backup. So press X to continue. It'll say, do you want to backup? Tell it yes, press X to continue. 
The backup took about two minutes, but no reason to sit and watch grass grow. Fast forward for the win here. After it's done backing up, it will ask to restart the system. So let it restart. You'll see the splash screen again as usual. And when it comes back up, everything that you have originally put in your backup will now be restored back to your PS3. But let's just double check that too and make sure everything went to plan. Slide over to games. In the PS3 games backup, you'll see right here, here's that Madden NFL 25 save file that my son originally created that was on the old hard drive. So everything went to plan. Make sure you subscribe while you're here so you don't miss out on great original video game content as it's posted to the channel. And check out this video shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comments below for more great PlayStation 3 content. Thanks so much. I sincerely appreciate you being here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.